Howdy champs, my name is Mohitan guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a pure CSS drop down menu. Now I've already done a, you know, a couple of tutorials uh, on a pure CSS drop down menu but uh, later on um, I decided to make certain changes, uh, simplify it a little bit and uh, I've come up uh, with another version of a drop down menu guys. Okay, before I actually explain how this was done let me show you a preview. Okay, I'm in the live view, guys. You can actually see that uh, as I hover over each of the menu items. Okay, for simplicity, everything has been called home, and every you know, every children item has been called item one. Although I'm sure you understand, this is just a test menu. Um, actually, uh, this could be home, this could be about, this could be services, this could be contact, and obviously, item one will be replaced by an actual link. But that will happen when it's a real website this is just a test menu all right so i'm going to re replicate this thing uh, or replicate whatever you just see all right in a separate different file and i'll take you uh, from the very beginning how this was actually done let me say if i run a new guys <coughs> let me say that, that the layout that i want uh, is none uh, let me go with the, a simple doc type the latest doc type html5 let me hit the uh, create button uh, let me save the file up. That's the first thing that I would want to do. Let's say save. Let's give it a name menu bar. Right. Cool. Let me give it a title as well. Menu bar. Right. And let me go to the split view, guys. And let's start from the very beginning. Okay. First things first. Let me insert a div. So insert layer objects. Div tag let me go to the id and uh, id field and uh, give it a name let me say div1 click on the new css rule button okay and uh, the definition rule definition is getting saved, saved itself in this document only not a new external style sheet so it's an internal embedded rule guys let me say okay uh, let me go to the box category let me go to the width let me give it a width of uh, 608 i've already done my calculations right let me go to the background let me give it a background color of azure cool and let me go to the back box category and let's say i would want a margin of 20 pixels all around let me say okay and okay once again and this is where i'll be placing my menu bar all right after which guys let me click out here where you see the unordered list icon all right and then let me drop in an anchor tag a a for anchor tag and then the href attribute i'm going to make it a link now let's say uh, home dot html although i don't have home dot html ready okay this is just a test menu guys and uh, well, let me close it up let me give it a title of home and close the anchor tag up and let's see how this actually affects things okay this is how things look like right now cool okay let me hit enter a few times let me extend this a little bit right so guys uh, let's see what exactly do we have we have the opening and the closing uh, ul tags within the opening and the closing div okay inside which we have the li tag opening and the closing li tag and sandwich in between we have the anchor tag okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a nested ul tag within the li tag right so that's opening ul which means that i should have a closing ul as well okay so that's a nested ul tag which also means that i'll be having nested li tags as well so yes li opening and li closing and in between let's have a few anchor tags so a for anchor href attribute guys pointing to let's say link one that's a pseudo link guys doesn't exist but just for the sake of this tutorial link one dot html mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> let me close it up let me say link one and uh, you know close the anchor tag up the link tag up and then guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy line number 20 i'm going to paste it three more times one two and a three out here okay i'm going to change link one to link two 
link three let's a link four out here cool let's see the result okay I made a mistake somewhere let me just uh, detect that hmm Okay guys, I've identified where the mistake is. Since this is the opening UL tag, I should close it out here. So it should be like this. Alright, and uh, now everything is just fine. Perfect. Okay, guys, uh, next what I'm going to do is, uh, in the code area, I'm going to click out here in line number 17. Then click on the plus button to create a new CSS rule. This compound rule will be targeting pound sign div one UL. So basically, all UL elements within the pound sign div one uh, ID selector, and uh, the rule will be an internal embedded rule. Let me say OK. All right. Let me define it, and let me go to the box category. I would want the padding to be zero, the margin to be zero as well. At the same time, uh, let me go to the list category. Let me set the list alt type to none. Let me say OK and uh, guys you can see how does this actually affect the menu bar cool next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click uh, here in line number 23 where I have the ally opening ally tag let me click on the plus button and uh, now this new compound rule will be targeting ally within ul within dev1 pound sign dev1 okay uh, clearly says this selector name will apply your rule to all li elements that are within any ul elements that are within any html elements with id dev1 and uh, it's getting saved itself in this document only basically creating an internal or an embedded rule fine well, let me say okay and uh, let me go to the box category i'm going to set the flow to a left let me say apply let's see what happens out here <laughs> something very funny happened don't worry and let me go to the positioning category let me set the position to uh, a relative right let me say okay this time don't worry guys uh, everything will be just uh, fine very soon I know it doesn't look like a drop-down menu but it'll look like one very soon okay next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag I'm gonna click out here in line number 27 where we have the anchor tag a tag let me click on the plus button the new compound rule will be targeting all anchor tags within ally within ul within pound sign dev one and again it's an internal embedded rule let me say okay and this is uh, probably the most important rule of them all it is the most important rule guys uh, let me go to the box category straight away let me define the width to be 150 the height to be let's say a 30 okay let me go to the block category and uh, set the display to a block let me say apply all right see um, whenever an element is a block element guys it starts to honor the width and the height according to the definition so guys you can actually see out here that the width and the height are getting honored okay next guys uh, let me go to the background let me give it a background color of let's say this one pound sign 069 right since this will camouflage the link I need to change the link color to white let me say apply see what happens next guys I need to set the underline I need to take the underline so I need to set the text decoration to none let me say apply see what has happened guys if I set the line height equal to the height of the tab which was 30 you'll see that will center itself that the text will center itself vertically next what I need to do is I need to center the text horizontally as well I can do that by going to the block category and setting the text align to a center Right, guys you can see the text has uh, centered itself horizontally as well as vertically okay and uh, things are looking just the way I want it all right and yes I need to apply certain borders out here guys um, let me go with the let me check these uh, off and as far as the right um, as far as the right uh, margin is concerned let me set it to solid solid sorry solid uh, 1 px and uh, pound sign triple 5 I want to set the left and the right margins with different uh, shades that will give uh, you know an effect of uh, something which is uh, you know kind of uh, a deep you know it's kind of concave kind of a effect that actually goes in and as far as the left margin is concerned left border is concerned I'm going to set it to solid 
again 1 px and a pound sign triple 9 alright let me say apply and as well as I would want to give it a bottom border not a top border guys and uh, again solid 1 px of triple 5 okay let me say okay straight away and let me go to the live view guys and guys have a look out here uh, what separates one link from the other is a line and this line seems to be going in you know you know giving it a, th a 3d effects concave effect right this is exactly what I wanted to do okay so far so good no problems at all right okay uh, let me save things up next guys what I'll do is I'll click where we have the uh, okay let's click where we uh, online number 46 where we have the anchor tag let me click on the plus button and this time let me create a rule for the anchor tag or the link tag but with the hover state a pseudo element a pseudo class guys it's a compound rule internal or an embedded rule let me say okay and I would want when somebody hovers over the link that the background color should change to a pound sign 900 let me say okay and let's see how this actually affects things all right cool okay next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the cursor in line number 50 where we have the nested ul tag i'm gonna click on the plus button this rule is going to target uh, div1 ul li ul so ul within li within ul within div1 all right it's a descendant rule guys a compound internal embedded rule as well let me say okay and um, this time let me go to the positioning category i'm going to set the position to a relative uh, not relative I'm sorry absolute and uh, the moment I see uh, say okay guys have a look out here what has happened actually um, you see the the driv uh, you know the links drop in very nicely bil uh, below the main ally the children ally drop in below the main ally that's very cool that's magical at the same time I would want uh, for perfect alignment the placement from the top to be 31 pixels I'll say apply once again okay um, guys uh, although this may not show up as a major difference to you uh, with the naked eye but actually uh, keeping it uh, 31 from the top is the perfect thing to do okay 30 pixels for the height of the tab 1 pixel for the border I've set the element absolute guys within an, uh, within a relative element and uh, then I can use the top right bottom and left uh, placements okay uh, let me say okay but only after I set the visibility to a hidden let me say okay and guys you can actually see that everything is actually hidden itself <laughs> but don't worry things will be all fine all cool very soon uh, next guys what I need to do is I need to click again where we uh, let's say in line number uh, 54 uh, let me click on the plus button okay mm. this time I would want the anchor tag let me think ul li or rather let me cancel it up let me click out here in line number 56 let me click on the plus button right mm, I need to shorten the rule okay I need to come out here where we have the okay I need to put a hover out here so basically I'm targeting the nested ul tag as long as uh, LI is in the hover state and what I need to do is let me say okay I need to say that uh, I would want the visibility to turn back again so make it visible let me say okay alright so basically guys what I've done is I have set 
the visibility back only when the main ally is hovered upon right so that's that's looking cool wonderful and uh, then guys what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna click out here in line number 59 where we have the nested anchor tag okay uh, let me click on the plus button and uh, yeah so it's gonna target a with an ally with an ul with an ally with an ul with a div one a long descendant rule guys let me say okay and I'm gonna say I would want the border to be affected in the way that I'm gonna be about to define I would want the top border to be solid but having one pixels be one pixels and this time I would want to be a to be a triple nine okay but the bottom border I would want to be a solid uh, one pixels but pound sign triple five that's how I, I would want it pound sign triple five oh, I'm sorry that's hash triple five let me say okay and guys so uh, have a look out here how it actually affects things okay perfect okay I'm actually using the top and the bottom and the left and the right borders only so that I can give it a special effect a line that actually seems to go in okay uh, the divider of the border seems to go in uh, a mild concave effect a groove kind of a structure okay so now that I'm actually done guys what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, please look out here carefully I'm gonna select everything that is within the divs with an ID div one everything leaving the div apart okay I'm gonna say control C I'm gonna hit enter twice I'm gonna say control V and a twice V control V and a twice control V okay let's see how this actually affects the things okay now that uh, I've done it I have the menu bar ready guys okay now every menu is home and every link is link one link two link three obviously guys you can go out here you can change the link to to whatever you would like you could you could turn it to a home or uh, you know, anything it could be uh, it could be uh, portfolio dot html or whatever or just portfolio or services or whatever right uh, even the links you see these are pseudo links and uh, these are pseudo names obviously you, you I'm just faking it faking it uh, since it's a test tip. this is a test menu uh, I'm expecting you to change that also guys uh, see the drop down which is uh, up to the level one it has four links of, of course you can make the links uh, five or six or even two or three it's pretty simple guys uh, for example if you would want to increase the number of uh, links let's say I go to line number 70 say control C and control V twice okay this would have the result of you know increasing the number of links or I could simply you know delete uh, certain ally items like this and uh, I beg your pardon and as you can see guys uh, the number of links actually decrease right okay and uh, you can come out here and you can change the home.html to services.html or about.html or whatever okay uh, you can give it a title you can change the target although it's best to leave it blank uh, you know not put anything out here or you can uh, set it to underscore self which is the same thing okay you can even set it to underscore blank so that it opens up a new in a, in a new blank page but I don't know why would uh, somebody want to do that but just in case all right so guys uh, that concludes the tutorial on a pure CSS drop-down menu I hope you liked it and I hope to see you very soon you have a good day guys bye bye peace